our CIO, has been talking with our partner Meditech for a very long time about this. But the minute I heard about it, I was like, oh, yes, I, I want more of that, please. <laughs> From a community size perspective, one of the things I love best about Frederick is as a standalone health system, we're accountable to one community, this community. We can get things done at a pace maybe large organizations can't. And we can do some nimble and interesting and important new initiatives and be entrepreneurial in a rapid but uh, thoughtful way for our community in a way that makes a difference meaningfully in the lives of those that need us the most. We've known for decades, ever since the birth of modern genetics, we've known that people vary from person to person based on their inheritance. And we know that some of the things that frustrate us about our treatment failures probably had something to do with people's individual genetic variations. But the rest of it was a black box. With genomics now, the, the, the black box is starting to become a little bit more transparent. Ah, there is a connection between this gene, this enzyme, this drug, and how it gets metabolized, and it has that clinical effect. Meditech had available the ability to pull in discrete genetic information into our EMR that is very innovative and puts the information where our providers can actually make decisions on it. This really brings that precision care to them if you are on a cancer medication and it's the wrong medication, it can cost you your life. It can cost you months of therapy that we can do. So we're, we're just so excited to bring this to our community and also to our providers who are, they want to do the best for the patient. So let's again lead with a partner like Meditech that's helped us put in a great system, a component of that enterprise medical record where we can have that testing be there and understood through that. We take a comprehensive family history, so it's not just about cancer. We're looking at other concerns in the family, maybe cardiovascular disease, early death, for other reasons. All of us will be using that information, hopefully to make the better diagnostic and treatment decisions for our patients. You know, I think it it's going to lead to much better care and outcomes. Uh, educating providers that this data is available in our EMR, that it, it's discrete data that you're seeing in the same lab fields that you would typically see your metabolic panels and your CBCs, you're seeing those gene panels. There is a potential warning that could come up and advise the provider otherwise. And we're used to regular alerts, but these are different, more guided alerts to that specific therapy. Thank you for helping me not make that mistake. And that's a huge value that the EMR will provide. It resonated with me both as a CFO, I was going to be spending money at the right place for the patients, but also as a patient that I wasn't going to be wasting critical lifetime in a treatment that wasn't going to benefit me at all. One of the things that's really important to, I think, um, all healthcare executives is, and clinicians too, is health equity. And so really when you start boiling it down to precision medicine, it's, it's getting person specific. And I think that's gonna create the health outcomes that we're seeking beyond some of the traditional definitions of race and, and ethnicity and, and age. I think we're taking it to that next level. But once again, once you get the data, how do you have it into a repository? How are you making it easy for doctors to use? And how's that being used to translate care delivery? And that's where Meditech is an, an important element. But I think all of us share that exact same vision, right? Precision medicine, personalized medicine, which gives great results, less side effects. We're looking at the patient as a whole. I really do believe that genetics eventually will be the first step in making a diagnosis for a patient and not the last step after somebody's been through their medical odyssey and nobody can figure anything out. The fact that we now can use genetic information to do prevention, to get screenings, we can catch cancer early, but the same thing will happen with people knowing more information about their genetics so that they can take better care of their heart disease or their nutrition. You know, there's just so much coming down the pike in the future that will benefit this entire community based on what we can learn from the genetic information.